In this lesson, we'll be discussing how to calculate the average rate of change and how to predict the rate of change of reactions. The question reads, consider the balanced chemical equation shown on your screen. In the first 10 seconds of the reaction, the concentration of the iodine anion drops from one molar to 0.868 molar. We have to calculate the average rate of this reaction in this time interval. To do this, we'll need to understand the following relationship. So let's pretend that we have a plus B and it yields C plus D. The rate of formation for these two molecules is represented here and the rate of disappearance is shown here. And I want you to concentrate on the rate of disappearance. We have this factor of negative 1 over A times this relationship and it's equal to negative 1 over B times this factor. And that's the relationship we'll be using here because this molecule is disappearing and forming triiodide this molecule. And this coefficient 3 will be represented as, let's say, A in this formula. If that's confusing to you, here's what I mean. So to calculate the rate of disappearance, or the average rate, for this molecule, we'll take negative 1 over the number of moles of that molecule, which is 3, and we'll multiply it to the change in molarity that's given in the question. We go from 1 to 0 0.868. And when we find the change of something, we take the final minus the initial. So I'm going to subtract 0 0.868 molar with 1.000. We have four significant figures here and three significant figures here. And when it comes to subtracting, we only care about the number after the decimal place. So we should have a number with three significant figures after the decimal place. To calculate the change in time, the denominator, we take the final minus the initial. We're told that this happens in 10 seconds. So the change in time is 10. All we have to do now is compute this. We have negative 1 over 3, that first factor, times the difference at the top divided by 10, giving us a rate of 4 decimal 4, 0 times 10 to the power of negative 3 molars per second. Let's write that down. 4 decimal 4, 0 times 10 to the power of negative 3 molars per second. That's the answer to question A. Let's move on to B. Predict the rate of change in the concentration of hydrogen ions during this time interval. Now let's take a look at the chemical reaction. The hydrogen ions are right here. And once again, we'll be using this relationship to figure out its rate of change. We already know this part, and that's equal to 4.4 .4 times 10 to the power of negative 3. All we have to do is make this equal to this part. So we have 4.40 times 10 to the power of negative 3 is equal to 1 over b. And remember, it's negative 1. Let's find out what b is. It'll be 2. And this part, this factor, will remain the way it is. So I'll write down, as stated in the question, delta H plus, that's the concentration or the molarity, per delta T. We have to solve for this factor, and we can do that by multiplying both sides of this equation by 2. Watch, if I multiply the right side by 2, this 2 and this 2 will cancel out, leaving us with 2 times this factor, and we divide both sides by negative 1, to get rid of that negative one factor that remains. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll multiply this by two, and then divide both sides by negative one. And this gives us an answer of negative 8.80 times 10 to the power of negative three. And remember the units, it's molars per second. Finally, for question C, we have to predict the rate of change in the concentration of peroxide and triiodide during this time interval. That's not a problem. For peroxide, we can use the same relationship that we had here, the rate of disappearance. So what I'll do is write down this expression, and once again, that will represent this part, the left side of the rate of disappearance, and that is equal to negative 1 over, we have a 1 in front, so we have negative 1, and we're looking for the concentration of hydrogen peroxide per the time difference. 
this one's easy. I divide both sides by negative 1, and I end up with negative 4.40 times 10 to the power of negative 3 molars per second. That represents this. And if we want the rate of formation, because this part right here is a product, so we'll use this relationship. What I will do is set, once again, 4.40 times 10 to the power of negative 3. And look at this. We'll make that equal to any one of these, either this one or this one. The right side will be positive. So I'll continue my work on the side. That is equal to 1 over, we have 1 mole. So I'll put 1 as our C, 1 over 1. And we have delta triiodide, its concentration, its molarity, per delta T. Since we have this equaling to 1 times what we're looking for, the rate of change of triiodide is equal to 4.40 times 10 to the power of negative 3. It's the same thing. That is how to calculate the average rate and predict the rate of change in concentrations.